Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be checking out some awesome community creations that are specifically made for me or inspired by my videos. I know a lot of you guys enjoy the videos and uh, you upload some pretty awesome builds. And today, to show some appreciation, I'm actually going to be checking out a small handful of them. Let's get into it. Okay, so here are our five builds for today. And we're going to be starting off with the first one, which is by Dragon Fury 10,000. And he says, cool Spitfire Vore Uzi. I'm guessing that's supposed to be an F, but that's okay. So he's made a Spitfire. And it looks very heavily inspired by uh, my own World War II style creations. So what I mean by that, he's done like this piston thing where I do an odd whip tail with an even whip base fuselage. Pretty cool, man. This is really nice. You know what? Before we start, I actually need to turn on the show controls. Seeing what we're working with today. Okay, we have arrow controls. So I'm guessing those are uh, for the pistons, so we won't touch those. Spaces to go. We have a left control, which is, I guess, a brake. Oh, a lot of firepower. I love that. Your controls. We also have G. That's landing gear. And L. Oh, L is like a toggle. That's nice. And we also got some flaps with Y. A lot of controls, it seems. Okay, let's take it out for a spin. Ooh, okay. Let's get those landing gears in. You know what? This feels pretty nice to fly. I'm actually going to turn those flaps on. Okay, it is a tiny bit nose heavy. But that's okay. I'm guessing there's a little bit of drag from the that piece underneath. That, like, intake piece. Loving the detail on this for very colorful. Honestly, you can't beat like a very simple uh, prop plane, guys. If I wanted to go for a dogfight, I probably will prefer to pick a uh, more slow prop plane, just like this one. Here, can we land? Oh, okay. I'm having a skill issue here. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We can land. Not a problem. Oh, a bouncy. <laughs> You know what? Not bad. I really like it. Well, I'm guessing we're not actually supposed to dogfight with this because uh, it has the peace logo on it. <laughs> I've never really used that decal. It's really colorful. Like, I've never used this decal before. That's probably the first time I've actually seen that decal on a build. Well, Dragon Fury, I really enjoy this build. Thank you so much, man. But let's see what we have next. Okay, up next we have the SK Hound Huntress for Yuzi by Caddo Fiber Free. Or is it just fiber? Because is that free supposed to be an E? I don't know with these gamer tags, guys. <laughs> but he says, for Yuzi, try it. The V button is for slight wing tilt, and after takeoff, it takes a little bit of time for it to get stable. The speed and pitch is not great, but yeah, try it and have fun. Best regards, CAD. All right, CAD, let's do it. Ooh, so far I like the design of this. These detachable blocks are obviously for uh, zero drag, so we can get the optimal speed with this. As far as design, I think it's pretty like slick, you know? Not too much, but not too little. The question is, how do we get rid of these detachable blocks? Is it space? No. Oh yeah, it is space. So click is to shoot, space, get rid of those, and space is also to go. Oh, control is for rockets. Nice. All right, let's do this wing thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. I want to test how it flies with and without the wing uh, tilt. Okay. Oh, yeah, this, it is pretty stable. Yeah, no, this, this flies really well. Okay, let's put the wings in the tilt. Ooh. I can feel a drastic effect on that already. It's kind of wanting to roll and stable out, which is... That's just physics, man, with these wings. All right, can we just, like, boom and zoom down through the slopes? I got very responsive pitch controls. Nah, dude, this is really fun to fly. But the question is, if I were to put the same weaponry from this aircraft on the one we just reviewed, the Spitfire. Which one would win? You guys in the comments below are definitely going to say this one, I believe. <laughs> well, I like it. Let's see if I can go in for a landing. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no, I broke 
the uh, <laughs> the space thruster. Oh well, pretty cool build. Thank you so much for that one. Let's see what we have next. Okay, as you see in the top right here, I do have complexity mod enabled because some of these builds are heading into complexity town. So we need about a thousand complexity for these next ones. And we're starting off with the passenger jet by Kinda Statue. If you see this, Yuzi, I love your videos. And here is my passenger jet. Controls and complexity about 1000. Q and E yaw, W S pitch, A and D roll. Pretty standard controls if you ask me. Engine is space and it's a toggle. Nice. Landing gear is G, of course, and flap is one. I hope you like it. Well, I hope I do too. Let's check it out. Oh, I like the design already spawning it in. It's actually 940 complexity. It is a big boy. <laughs> is that trail air? He wrote trail air using decals. That's genius. See, I wonder if this was made before we got those uh, window pieces. These ones. Because he could have used those, but he's gone for a decal approach. But it's definitely giving me like uh, Sherpo vibes of this kind of design going on here. Oh, you know what I just noticed? The suspension. Like the suspension on the wheels. So when it comes into landing... The back wheel is actually more further dropped than the front one. And I think this is a real thing for like bigger aircrafts. That's really neat. Okay, here we go. Can I even taxi on the runway? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I can taxi on the runway. And off I go. That was pretty smooth. Landing gear. Ooh. 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 I didn't know you were chill like that. I didn't know the landing gear could tuck in like that. Look at that landing gear go. Nice and compact in those compartments. All right, let's go get those flaps on. We should be a little... Cause it is a tiny bit nose heavy. And I'm noticing with a lot of planes are just, just a little bit more nose heavy. But I'm guessing it's because the seats are heavy in the front. Man, it's so smooth. One thing that we can check out with this build prior to the other ones we have just checked out is that this one has a custom cockpit. So I'm actually going to check out the first person. Here we go. Switch camera. I mean, pretty visible. Pretty visible. No dials or anything. No decals like that. <laughs> we actually, I only just noticed we have a second seat too. So you can't have a co-pilot or a friend to tag along. I'm looking inside and uh, there's no room for actual seats because of the landing gear. Yeah, this one's a fun one to fly. See, now I actually want to try out that uh, suspension landing gear. So let's get the landing gear out. My flaps are still on. Yep. Yeah, okay. And uh, let's go for it. Can I land statues plane? Here we go. Oh, I need to like toggle the thrusters. Ooh. Oh, not what? That was perfect. Come on. You have to give me that. You have to leave a like for that one. Not a single brick broken. Awesome build kind of statue. But let's see what we have next. All right, this one is also a big complexity plane. Yuzi, Panavia Tornado ZA326, the title of this one. And this one is by Creepy Flash. And already looking at this thing, holy moly. I I think when I spawn this in, it's going to be extremely detailed because you can see all the hinges that are ready to just squeeze in all of the uh, pistons too. And all this work just for the nose, just to shape the nose. Oh. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, okay. Well, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh my, guys, I think it's broken. Did I break it? No, okay, thank God. Holy moly, this one is very detailed. Look at that nose. It's like, there's too much. There's too much happening. I always love to see aircrafts like built like this because it's just the level of detail that you can make in one build is insane. Definitely the best looking aircraft so far in today's review. But what I want to know is how do we get this thing to function? Because it is on a peg leg. Is it shift? No. Control. E? Oh, it's E. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Things are breaking. Okay. This is a slight problem. Something in the nose is... is <laughs> <laughs> wait let me respawn it all right engines on e oh i pressed ah, damn it i pressed no ah all right there we go something broke it's fine uh oh uh oh creepy flash i don't know what's happening with the plane is it me am i doing it uh oh all right 
See, the thing is, when you upload your creations, multiple updates might come out, which can kind of change the world groups on your blueprints. So I feel like that's what's happening here. There's a lot going on. That's broke. That's fine. Can we fly? That is the main thing. Oh. Oh, yes, we can. The roll is a little slow. The pitch is good, though. We don't have any weapons on this. Oh, look at that. We can sweep the wings in. So when I press Q, I can sweep the wings in. That is awesome. Does it make it fly any better? No, it still flies the same. I can see why it needs more than a thousand complexity. But we're coming in for another landing. Actually, can we fly through the tunnel? Oh, we're coming in a bit low. Oh, <laughs> oops. I'm sure it'll be fine. Well, thank you so much, Creepy Flash, for letting us check out your Panavia Tornado. Finally, we have the MQ-9 Reaper for UZ updated for PC by the console PC gamer. So this guy is a console and PC gamer. He can be both. Missiles are one, two, three, and four. Nice. Okay. I'm guessing it's basic controls. We have a camera. Camera is O. Is that O or zero? I don't know. We'll find out. We have cameras on the missiles. So this is a Reaper drone, a UAV, as I like to call them. You got that nice little prop at the back. That's cool. Okay, can we take off? Uh oh, nice. I think the landing gear is a fixed landing gear. Yeah. Whoa, this is cool. All right, let's check out these missiles. Let's not waste no t no time here. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's a what? <laughs> I looked away at my keyboard, guys, to launch the missiles, and then I look back and I'm locked into the camera of the missiles. This is impressive. All right, here, watch this. When I press one, I am in the missile cam. I can look around. I can see, I can barely see where I'm going in the, in the, the Reaper. And this is so stable. What the hell? Okay, but I do want to get back to my, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> So the thing is with those missiles, you can be in that perspective, but I don't know how you get out of it. Do you just press the same keybind? So one. Oh no, you're stuck in it. Oh, we're going upside down. This is a very interesting perspective. Let me change. Oh, <laughs> so this one isn't nose heavy. Okay, we're launching a missile. There, off it goes. Let's launch another one. It's making me dizzy. <laughs> I mean, I can see how that could be really fun in a multiplayer perspective, you know? These must have used logic gates for that. But what's even more surprising to me, not just that they have like a custom view of the missiles or rockets, it's the fact that they're so stable. Like I'm in the perspective of the rocket and you can see how stable it is. It may be spinning around, but it's still keeping a straight line trajectory. Well, I am thoroughly impressed with these creations and these are just a handful you guys have made for me. There are hundreds of creations that if I just type in my name on the workshop that you can find. So I'll tell you what, guys, this will be like a starting uh, episode of me checking out creations that you guys genuinely want me to see. So if you have any cool creations or wanting to build some cool creations, upload them to the workshop and put my name in the uh, the title or the description, put for UZ or something like that, and hopefully I can get around to checking them out. But these creations have been awesome, a really great handful of them. Definitely leave down in the comments below which one was your favorite on today's showcase. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.